there, I'm Heather, I'm one of the vets at um, Oak Veterinary Centre and I'm just going to go through a few tips on how to brush your dog's teeth. So obviously the first important rule um, is to have the right equipment. So what we always recommend is a good quality um, dog or cat specific toothpaste and a special toothbrush. So the one that we recommend sort of toothpaste wise is this one here which is an enzymatic toothpaste, which we sell here at the practice, um, which is poultry flavoured, so it tastes really nice. It's got no fluoride in like, unlike human toothpaste. Um, and it also helps sort of break up some of the, the tartar that builds up on their teeth. And the next thing you also need is a toothbrush. So I've got one here, which is quite a nice long um, handle on it. So you don't have to get sort of too close um, or put your hands too close to the mouth. Or you can also get a new sort of soft um, children's toothbrushes or you can also buy rubber sort of thimble like toothbrushes that you put on the end of the finger um, and some dogs tolerate them much better. So the next stage is um, brushing your dog's teeth is partially a training exercise so you need to get them used to having their teeth brushed before um, you go ahead because it can be quite scary for some dogs. So one important thing is to make it fun so you shouldn't punish your dog if they are scared you just need to build things up slowly. The first thing that I like to do um, is you just put a little bit of toothpaste onto the toothbrush and offer it, offer it to the dog. Let them lick it off. Um, let them associate the toothbrush with nice, tasty things. And you just start with that for the first few days, or up to a week, just to get them used to it. The next thing you can do is you need to sort of start building up. This oh, this is my dog. You want to start building up. Um, them getting used to you sort of handling the mouth. So initially you want to, you can just lift the lip and then drop it down and that's all you have to do. The other side, lift the lip, drop it down, just so they get used to those general sort of movements. It can be quite unusual for some dogs and it can be quite scary. Um, you also want to get the front as well, so lift and down and that's it. And you just give your dog a treat every time you do it, just so they realise it's really fun and it does, it's not scary um, and, it, and it's a good thing. So another thing you want to do is dogs do have lots of teeth so you want to try and get all the way back to here so again you want to build up that movement so in some dogs the sasha tolerates that really well in some dogs you might want just want to literally just pull it back a bit and let it drop pull it back a bit and let it drop and you just gradually build up the time you're doing that and again the other side so oh, lift up Pull it back a bit, let it drop. Pull it back a bit, let it drop. And again, you just gradually build up the time, giving them lots of treats, lots of fuss, and make it a really fun exercise. The sash is really good. So when you brush the dog's teeth, you only need to do the outside surfaces. You don't need to do the inside surfaces. Um, and you can do it for two minutes, just once a day. So again, they don't need to brush their you don't need to brush their teeth twice a day. So just once a day is absolutely fine. And it's just to stop any build-up of tartar, try and prevent any gum disease, um, and really try and prevent the need for dentals. So if I just put that a bit more, and it's not sweet. Good girl. So I'm just going to show you how to brush the teeth. So as I said, you want to lift the lip up, so you've got a nice surface here for the canines, and you'll just want to do small circular movements, so just on the outside with your toothpaste. And these ones are a bit trickier. So again, you can start sort of building up. So you can just sort of do the outside here, but then you want to get right to the back, okay? So again, these ones are very important. And sometimes if you are struggling, you can get someone else to hold. But again, Sasha is very good. So you just want to do the outside surfaces all the way along. Good girl, you're so good. Such a good girl, okay? She's tolerating that really well. And then so you've got these front teeth here to do, so you can very gently just lift up, just use one side, two fingers either side, just to make them smile. And again, you can do the front teeth, and you can get both done at the same time. So again, just the outside surfaces. And then same again, you can lift up. And obviously if you do have a dog that's perhaps a little bit snappy, as I said, you want to build it up, but you can sort of use right to the end. So again, outside surface. And then all the way back. Okay, good girl. So all the way back. 
And you can use the extra long toothbrush. <laughs> I'm not liking that so much. It's fine, just holding it a bit long, aren't I? Yes, Ash. There's a good girl. So again, you can get right to the back here. Okay, I'm just gonna let her have a bit of a break because again, she's not liking that so much because I'm holding it a bit long. But they're the main things really, is you wanna get right to the back. So you can see here, right at the back got a lot of teeth it's as far back as you can get really and as I said you can hold up here and then just brush so it's just the outside surfaces this side's probably easy to show you so just the outside surfaces so all the way to the back and then slow circular movements for two minutes yes you're good girl if you have any concerns, issues or queries, then feel free to give us a call. We can recommend toothpaste, you can come and pick some up as well. Um, and as I said, the most main important thing is just make it really fun, build up slowly. Um, and when they let you brush their teeth, you'll be able to prevent um, any uh, dentals in the future, hopefully. Thank you.